whenever it's related to transition defense, um, it's always got to do with how well we communicate and um, the effort and execution and competitiveness, you know, because it, it you know, it doesn't take a lot of skill to get back on transition defense. It's communication and, and being competitive and, and that's where we lacked in both of those categories for the majority of the game and I think it really showed in, in tra our transition defense. You guys were pretty locked in defensively not too long ago. Is that just something that there's just natural slippage throughout 82 games and you have to sort of shore it up? I take, mean, take a beat and shore it up every now and then? Yeah, you, you hate to make excuses but um, we were really solid defensively um, in, in all categories for um, a, a little bit of time there um, but maybe you know this is what new teams go through is is not being able to um, be consistent with that throughout a longer period of time um, so you know maybe that's got got to do with it but for us to keep learning from from these games and making sure that, that it doesn't happen again but we obviously know what we what we can do and it, it's like I said being consistent about it. Did, did you have a letdown you think last night you know you guys had won for the first time back-to-back -back games in a row they'd lost five in a row they were missing two of their top players you know their natural tendency to kind of. Yeah like, like I said I, I didn't think we you know rocked up to the game with that mindset that we've had lately um, so definitely a, a slippage and um, you know, the, the loss after the game probably stung a little bit more than other losses um, that, that we've had. But um, like I said, being able to go through these times with this new group is, um, you know, hoping that that is going to pay off down the long run. What are you seeing from DeMar right now? It seems like he's trying to work himself out of a little pump or something. Yeah, look, he, you know, I'm, I made this comment last night after the game too that he... Um, he brings so much more to our team than just being able to score the ball and that's what makes it so enjoyable to, to play with him um, and, and I know other guys definitely feel like that so you know being able to, to force him himself out of it I don't think you know is necessarily the way and, and, and he's going about it in a way that you know can come naturally and obviously we're we're supporting him and, and, and we've got his back no, no matter what. But um, other than that, he brings so much more to, to our group. Um, I believe that he makes you know, us as teammates better. Um, and when you, when you see that on the offensive end of the floor, um, you can appreciate that. Obviously, you know, we all need to help him understand the system and what we need to do defensively. But... Um, like I said, I think that the main message for him is that he brings way more to our, to our group um, than obviously just scoring it the ball. It seems like a couple months ago we were, we were asking you the same questions about Marcus, and then yeah. all of a sudden he's back to being yeah. Marcus. Do we just make too big a deal about what happens over a small sample size with these all-star players? And by we, I mean us. Yeah. Yeah, but that's what you guys get paid to do, so that's all right. Not very we'll much. answer. <laughs> uh, yeah, look, it's 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 basketball. It's being a professional athlete. It's it's understanding that nothing's going to be handed you on a silver platter, and um, you know you've got to take what comes and 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 learn from it and and move on the the best you can. And um, you know there's going to be adversities and hurdles in in front of you, and that's just being a professional player I think that's what also makes your comeback um, even sweeter when you're able to um, get back in the saddle and 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 learn from it it's down the long run I think that's what makes it's it sweeter. To say those kind of things are more of a conversation for us than they are in the locker room. Oh that's all right I can, I can come in and give my two cents and leave again. <laughs> Straighten everything up? Yeah. <laughs> Hattie, what, the, what was the game last night you went ahead and made a speech? Like what was the best that you wanted them to walk away with what you said? Yeah, it, it was. Uh, it meant a lot for me to be able to address the crowd last night, um, and there was a couple of messages um, in there for me to be able to um, tell people that we recently had the opportunity to to visit the National Civil Rights Museum uh, was one which I, I don't think anyone knew about. Um, it was just kind of a fitting time that we managed to play Memphis pretty recently and then um, obviously to today's MLK Day. Um, the, the, the second one of being able to um, educate I think is, is the biggest message that I, I um, 
try to learn from and, and I think given my times here in the States and, and really understanding on a deeper level um, the messages of the civil rights movements and, and Martin Luther King um, and, and, and growing from that, you know, I, I've really appreciated a lot more. I've, I've really been able to respect and, and, and honour um, all that has been done. Um, so for me to be able to relate those things that happened um, in this country to the problems and the issues and the, the significant events that, that has happened in Australia, um, I think is, is important for me to be able to educate people now living in America um, to who I am, to what has happened, um, so that we can all kind of understand that um, these things that have happened in the past, they're still happening now. How can I help to be able to bridge a gap between um, this division, to be able to bring people together so that we can all move forward together? And, and I think that was the, the main message of, of what I wanted to do last night. And I think being able to celebrate um, you know, Martin Luther King's legacy last night at the game, and obviously today, um, gives us that opportunity to do that. Are we going to get there? I have faith just as much as, as other people do. Um, I do believe it's going to be a very long time. Um, but I also believe, and, and what, what has been said many times before, um, is that we've got, to make, we've got to be able to make some noise to be able to uh, create change. So uh, by me doing the message last night, by me continuing to speak up about the, the issues in, in, in Australia, um, I do believe it, but um, there's a lot of work that, that needs to be be done. There's a, a time in Australia right now, um, you know, which is embarrassing for me being here in America, um, you know, uh, pursuing my dreams. Um, is that the, it is a time of, of uh, growing division um, because of January 26, um, 1788, which is the known as the, the European settlement um, in Australia um, and it's it's a debate that comes up every time this 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 time around and for me to be able to be in America and um, not feel helpless but feel like I'm so far away from being able to um, really make an impact um, it doesn't mean I'm not going to try but I'll do my best to be able to make sure that all Australians can um, come together as one um, to be able to celebrate our country of Australia in um, some sort of manner. But um, it's 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 quite fitting that this day comes, um, MLK Day comes, um, you know, crucial time uh, of our life at the moment. Patty, uh, is that what makes this this the culture of this franchise? Everybody's written about it, talks about it. The the, the culture that Pop cultivates. We you know we all went to the is busy that, that uh, not every team does that not a lot of teams do that but the fact that you guys went there and, and uh, I know that uh, the Mars said it was a, one of the most powerful experiences of his lifetime and stuff uh, does that tell you that's basically part of being a spur is to broaden your horizon no question and no question um, and if I you know or when I finally um, walk away from, from here that's going to be the, the biggest thing that I've learned and been able to, to take away from um, you know being here in this organisation is the fact that um, basketball almost came second and that we are able to open our horizon because of POP and, uh, and this organisation to the things that really matter outside of um, basketball um, with current events, current news, um, issues, problems, mm -hmm. globally. Um, yeah. I didn't know much about Argentina until um, I came here and, and had countless dinners and, and lunches and bus rides with Manu and now when um, news comes up about Argentina I, I look into it. Um, so I think back to your, your point, it's, 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 it's still about educating people on the past so that we can, we can learn from that and we can understand how to deal with situations so that. What, what did it feel like to be there on that balcony and to stand like Lamar said, to stand there where it was actually struck down? Powerful. Very powerful. Yep, very powerful. Um, that obviously was probably the most powerful um, exhibit, if you like, um, of the museum um, and, and, and touching, but the whole 
the whole museum with the 23 or so exhibits that they have there is, is you know, makes your hair stand up. For me, the, the Rosa Park exhibits where you, you're, you go on, you actually go walk onto the bus and sit in the seats. It was a bus that was very similar um, to the, the ones back then um, and to see, um, you know, a statue of her in the bus and, and you know, the, com the ads and the commercials that are on along the bus, um, it was very, um, you felt like you were back there. You were back there. Um, so that was one of my favorite, favorite exhibits. Montgomery, Alabama bus ride. And that's something that's very well said. Thank Appreciate you. It.